Jane Austen, an esteemed English novelist of the late 18th and early 19th centuries, remains an enduring literary icon renowned for her insightful portrayals of the lives and manners of the English middle and upper classes. Born on December 16, 1775, in Steventon, Hampshire, she was the seventh child of Reverend George Austen and Cassandra Lee. Growing up in a loving family with a passion for literature, Jane's early exposure to books and the written word set the stage for her remarkable literary journey. Early Life and Education Jane Austen's formative years were marked by a nurturing environment that fostered creativity and intellectual curiosity. Her father, a clergyman with an extensive library, encouraged his children to read and write. Jane and her siblings indulged in creating plays, stories, and poems for their amusement. At eight, she was sent to a boarding school in reading, where she received formal education. However, her formal education was short-lived, and she returned home after a year due to financial constraints. Back in the familiar surroundings of Steventon, Jane's education continued informally, aided by her father's extensive literature collection and encouragement to explore various subjects. The Beginnings of a Novelist During her teenage years, Jane Austen became fond of reading and began honing her writing skills. By her early twenties, she had already penned several short stories and started working on her first novel, Eleanor and Marianne, which later evolved into Sense and Sensibility. The book explores themes of love, societal expectations, and the contrasting personalities of the Dashwood sisters. In 1796, Jane completed First Impressions, the manuscript that would later become her most beloved novel, Pride and Prejudice. Despite her early forays into writing, it wasn't until 1811 that her literary career took a significant turn when Sense and Sensibility was published anonymously. The Path to Publication Jane Austen's path to publication was filled with challenges and rejections. After the initial success of Sense and Sensibility, she continued to work on her novels, producing Pride and Prejudice, Nordhanger Abbey, and Mansfield Park. However, Financial struggles plagued the Austen family, and her novels remained unpublished. In 1811, Sense and Sensibility was finally published under the pseudonym Lady, followed by Pride and Prejudice in 1813. The latter's critical and commercial success brought Jane Austen modest recognition, although her identity as the author remained a closely guarded secret. A Closer Look at Austen's Novels Jane Austen's novels stand as remarkable social commentaries of her time, delving into the nuances of human relationships, class distinctions, and the constraints women face in Regency-era England. Her keen observations and sharp wit enabled her to create memorable characters who navigate the intricacies of society with wit and charm. Sense and Sensibility explores the contrasting personalities of the Dashwood sisters, Eleanor and Marianne, as they navigate the challenges of love and societal expectations. Pride and Prejudice remains one of her most celebrated works, vividly capturing Elizabeth Bennet's spirited journey towards love and self-discovery amidst the prideful Mr. Darcy's prejudices. Mansfield Park delved into issues of morality, societal obligations, and the idea of home through the eyes of the quiet and observant Fanny Price. Emma, often considered Austen's most flawed heroine, revolves around the well-intentioned but misguided attempts of the titular character to play matchmaker in her close-knit community. Nordhanger Abbey, a witty satire of gothic novels, humorously depicted the young Catherine Morland's forays into the world of romance and intrigue. Lastly, Persuasion, Austen's final completed novel published posthumously, explored second chances in love and the idea of constancy through the lens of the sensible and mature Anne Elliot. The Anonymous Novelist Throughout her lifetime, only a few people knew the author's true identity behind these remarkable works. Jane Austen's novels were published under the pseudonym Lady, maintaining an aura of mystery around the writer. Personal Life and Family While Jane Austen's novels have captivated generations, little is known about her personal life. She remained unmarried and spent most of her life in her family's company. Close relationships with her sister Cassandra and her brothers were essential to her emotional support and intellectual growth. 
The family moved to Bath in 1801, and Jane had mixed feelings about the city. Her father's death in 1805 marked a significant loss, but she continued to write and revise her works. Fame and Recognition Jane Austen's novels gained popularity as the years passed, and her literary genius began receiving recognition. Despite the praise, even to her contemporary readers, the author's identity remained shrouded in secrecy. A final chapter. In 1816, Jane Austen's health began to deteriorate, and she sought medical treatments in hopes of recovery. Unfortunately, her condition worsened, and she passed away on July 18, 1817, at 41. Her death marked the end of an extraordinary literary career that had only begun gaining the recognition it deserved. While her novels were celebrated for their realism and social commentary, it was only after her passing that her authorship was acknowledged publicly. The Legacy of a Literary Icon Jane Austen's literary legacy continues to thrive in readers' hearts worldwide. Her novels are beloved for their timeless themes, well-drawn characters, and clever wit. They provide a glimpse into the social and cultural milieu of Regency era England, making her novels not only works of art but also invaluable historical records. Adaptations and Influence The appeal of Jane Austen's novels has transcended time, with numerous adaptations, film adaptations, and inspired works paying homage to her brilliance. Her stories have been reimagined for contemporary audiences, from classic film adaptations to modern retellings, further solidifying her place in popular culture. Conclusion In retrospect, Jane Austen's life and literary journey were characterized by perseverance, wit, and an acute understanding of human nature. Her insightful portrayals of the English middle and upper classes have left an indelible mark on literature and continue to resonate with readers across generations. As we reflect on the life and works of this remarkable novelist, we are reminded of the enduring power of literature to captivate, enlighten, and inspire. Jane Austen's legacy as a literary icon is etched into the annals of history, ensuring that her novels will continue to be cherished for generations to come.